House Wolfort surrenders their charge, Prince Roland, at Gustadolf's behest, sparing themselves from the Duchy's wrath. House Tellior surrenders their land, also buying their reprieve. Lord Silvio bends the knee, declaring absolute devotion to their as frosty masters. House Falks surrenders nothing, the last of the high houses to remain loyal to their fallen king. News of their countrymen's capitulation shocks Lord Landroy, leaving him with a grave choice to make. I've brought the prince, your grace. Hmm. Gustadolf, you traitorous bastard! You'll pay for what you've done to my family! Mark my words! Gah! Easy there, Aflora. We need him alive, after all. I am sworn to do all in my power to keep you from harm, your grace. The boy is overcome with emotion, and who could blame him? Perhaps this will quell his rage a bit. Cordelia! Brother! Let him go! <sighs> Indulge her, Aflora. Oh, brother! Thank the heavens you're safe! They didn't hurt you, did they? I'm fine. I... I thought I'd never see you again. Let us speak after. Surely the Archduke will afford us that small mercy. Yes. Later, then. Prince Roland, you are well aware of the position Glenbrook finds itself in, yes? <laughs> Your kingdom is ours. House Tellior and House Wolfort have both bent the knee. Among the three high houses, only House Folks still proves recalcitrant. You mean for me to convince Lord Landroy to submit? Oh, nothing so tedious as that. I want you to order his death. I'm certain House Wolfort would be more than happy to oblige. You're mad! I won't be a mouthpiece to your cruelty! I know you've only just come into your responsibility, so allow me to offer a word of advice. A prince's first thought should ever be of his people. What are you saying? Landroy will not stand idly by for long. When he acts, and act he will, this land will once again be consumed by the fires of war. It is your duty as prince to quench that fire while it is yet kindling, lest you rule over a kingdom of corpses when all is done. <sighs> you see that I am right, your highness. Give the order. Enjoying yourself, are you? <gasps> uh... 
I do wish you'd learn to temper your vices, brother. And I wish you'd learn to live a little, sister. Well then, what is it? We leave for the Falk's Domain at once. I thought those Wolfort dogs were to do the deed. Why must we go? You really must use your head more often. The one atop your shoulders, that is. When have you ever known a dog to be obedient without some good measure of discipline? Indeed. Very well then, dear sister. I shall be ready anon. Seem the rumors were true, my lord. House Wolfort has delivered Prince Roland into Esfrost's clutches. And House Tellior. My lord, they too have. My lord? My good man, when you look at this painting, what do you feel? It is our home, as beautiful and verdant in reality as it is depicted by the master's brush. Indeed, it is a treasure, our land. Its safekeeping entrusted to us by His Majesty King Regna. May his soul rest in peace. An honor without equal, a duty worth fulfilling, at all and any cost. A duty I will not shirk from. Now, or ever. What? Invade the Falk's Domain? Such was the edict delivered to us by the Esfrosty Messenger. Ludicrous! They would have the High Houses turn on one another? We should be treating with House Falks, not stabbing them in the back! Doubtless the Archduke has little regard for honor between houses. He views the Falk's land as a fruit ripe for plucking. One which they would pluck for themselves. Or have us pluck for them, rather. The decree was signed in Prince Roland's own hand. Lies! His hand was forced! Indeed, by my brother. And if we disobey, the Archduke would have good reason to make an example of us. Gustadolf wins either way. We're trapped. And yet, no trap is infallible, my lord. There must be a way to avoid the civil war the Archduke is intent on causing. Aye, and I reckon Lord Landroy's of the same mind. He's the last man who wants to see countrymen slaughtering each other. Agreed, but we must tread carefully. If indeed it is the land itself that Gustadolf desires, perhaps an exchange can be arranged. An exchange of what? Territory? Just so. House Tellior negotiated similar terms. Far from ideal, to be certain, but preferable to the alternative. Whether Lord Landroy will be amenable to such terms, however, is another matter entirely. Still, it is our best chance. Let us treat with Lord Landroy. In the meantime, S. Frost must believe that we are playing along. Advance our forces to the Falk's Domain. Yes, my lord.
What news from House Wolfort, my lord? The Archduke has ordered them to march on our domain in Prince Roland's name. A clever ploy, if true. No matter the outcome, as Frost profits. However, House Wolfert claims to have no intention of blindly following these orders. They seek to parley, that we might together find a way to prevent the fall of the three high houses. How will you respond, my lord? How indeed. The Wolferts handed over his highness to save their own hides, hardly an act that warrants our trust. That said, their desire to avoid bloodshed is no doubt sincere, if only to buy time to lick their wounds. And somehow, I suspect there may be more to this stratagem of theirs. My lord, then you... I shall grant them audience. Pen the reply. At once, my lord. Prince Roland has passed his decree. The complete decimation of House Falks is the order of the day. A chilling command, which would see one of Glenbrook's three high houses reduced to bloody rubble. Though penned in the Prince's hand, the order was not his own. Forcing his hand was Archduke Gustadolf. A specter over his shoulders until the ink had dried. House Wolfort is given the command to uproot their erstwhile countrymen. And with heavy hearts, they march. However, the young Serenoa bears hope. Hope that bloodshed can be stopped. Hope that Lord Lanfroy can be convinced to see reason. Hope that the day is not far off when the realm will know peace again. Warforts have been ordered to bring down House Falks, you say? It would appear so. They entreat us for arms and provisions for the battle ahead. A request we will deny, of course. I leave it to you to concoct a convincing reason. Consider it done. I do believe this little conflict between countrymen will play to our benefit. No doubt Landroy will spare no effort as he makes his last stand. Our day draws near, Booker, and we must make every preparation for its arrival. And so it shall be. Falklands truly are the jewel of Glenbrook. Aye. I don't see Landroy giving them up easily, even if it comes to war. And that is why we will not simply give them up. We shall negotiate such that benefits may be reaped by all parties. Lord Landroy first among them. He is a reasonable man, yes? That he is, my lord. But we cannot hope to make him see reason if we cannot speak to him face to face.
As frosty forces muster at the border, they're preparing to advance. As frost, what treachery is this? While we were preparing for the parley, they snuck up on us unawares. What shall we do, my lord? So the Wolfert dogs have already learned some tricks from their new master, eh? We await your command, my lord. Split our forces in two. Send one regiment to the border. I shall lead the other to meet House Wolfert in the field. Aye, my lord. We'll defend King Regna's gift until the last of us falls. The history shall know that House Fox did not bend the knee.